and welcome to this video on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. In this video, you'll learn how to resize block volumes for using with Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. The block volume service lets you expand the size of block volumes and boot volumes. You have several options to increase the size of your volumes. Expand an existing volume in place with online resizing. Restore from a volume backup to a larger volume. Clone an existing volume to a new larger volume and expand an existing volume in place with offline resizing. Note, you cannot decrease the size of a volume. With online resizing, you can expand the volume size without detaching the volume from an instance. Online resizing requires you to rescan the disk and extend the partition. For details on rescanning disks and extending partitions, please consult the OS documentation for your OS type and version running the instance. Let's first resize an online block volume from the command line. I've already installed the OCI CLI, so please refer to the video, Configure the OCI CLI. From the command line, list the available block volumes to resize by running the command OCI BV volume list dash dash compartment dash ID followed by the OCID of the compartment. The results show that the block volume my-bv-02 has a size of 50 gigabytes. We'll resize the online block volume since it's already attached to instance my-instance-02. From the GUI, click on the navigation menu and then compute, then instances. Click on my-instance-02 and scroll down to see the block volume my-bv-02 attached. Returning to the command line, let's run the command OCI BV volume update dash volume dash ID followed by the OSID of the volume dash dash size dash in dash GBS, which is the size in gigabytes. This command updates the block volume with a new size of 100 gigabytes. Let's return to the GUI once again and see that the my dash BV dash 02 block volume was successfully resized to 100 gigabytes. With offline resizing, you detach the volume from an instance before you expand the volume size. Once the volume is resized and reattached, you need to extend the partition, but you do not need to rescan the disk. Whenever you detach or reattach volumes, there are complexities and risks for both Unix-based and Windows-based instances. Keep the following points in mind when resizing volumes. Before you resize a volume, you should create a full backup of the volume. When you reattach a volume to an instance after resizing, if you are not using consistent device paths, or if the instance does not support consistent device paths, device order and path may change. If you are using a tool such as Logical Volume Manager, you may need to fix the device mappings. Let's resize the block volume my-bv-02 which is attached to my-instance-02. Click the navigation menu, then compute, then instances, then my-instance-02. As you can see, block volume my-bv-02 is attached to my-instance-01. Let's detach the volume by clicking the three dots, then selecting detach. In the dialog box, click confirm to detach the volume. As shown, my-bv-02 was successfully detached from my-instance-01. Let's now resize the volume to 150 gigabytes. Returning to the command line, run the same command as previous, but instead of 100 gigabytes, the new size will have 150 gigabytes. Let's return to the GUI to reattach the volume and verify it was resized correctly. To reattach, click on the Attach Block Volume button. In the dialog box, click the down arrow under Block Volume and select My-BV-02. Then click the Attach to Instance button. The page refreshes to display My-BV-02 was reattached. Click the volume to display the new volume size of 150 gigabytes. For more information, please check our additional information on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance documentation or in the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance Learning Library. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.